Hey everybody, what's up? It's Chris, and in today's video, I'm gonna take a deeper look at your cereal. Is it vegan? Or did they maybe sneak some obscure animal ingredient in there and trick you? Let's take a closer look. So you're a seasoned vegan. You know how to read labels. You can pick it up. You can pick out the things that aren't vegan right off the bat, like whey, milk, honey, boom, not vegan, put it back. But what about the ingredients that are so much harder to tell if they're vegan or not? You might have to dig into that a little deeper to find out, but I've already done that for you. And I've done that on two brand cereals. We got Post and we got General Mills. Now these are two of the biggest brands out there, but I'm only gonna cover these in today's video, which means if you're eating a cereal that is not made by these, then you might be in the clear, but you might not be as well, because I haven't got to other brands yet. But there's also a lot of brands out there that say vegan on them, which means you're okay. So back to the General Mills and Post. I went to Wegmans and I picked up a bunch of different cereals and I looked at the ingredients on them. And what I did notice, I also did this before the pandemic. So what I did notice was there was one ingredient that was in just about every one, if not all of them. So I needed a little bit more time to investigate to see if these cereals were vegan or were they all contaminated with the zombie virus. Now, another thing is I've often seen over the years that restaurants or even bakeries, especially bakeries, will sell different desserts and stuff with some cereal on them. And a lot of these cereals uh, don't appear to be vegan from what I know, but I don't know if they're using a generic cereal that may or may not be vegan, um, but I always question that. Here I'm just showing some of the popular cereals by General Mills, and we got Fruit Loops here. Uh, does anybody see the ingredients? Does anybody notice the ingredient in common here that is on almost every one I'm showing? We'll get to that in a minute. There it is, looking right at it. Checks, rice checks. Now these seem to be uh, vegan, right? Gluten-free, no cholesterol? Yeah, I would say so. We'll find out. And Cheerios, frosted Cheerios, probably not. What about regular Cheerios? 100% whole grain oats. I don't know, I'm staring right at the ingredient. Pesky ingredients and everything. What about Wheaties? Surely Wheaties has to be vegan. We'll find out. Now this is a, a rice square cereal by Wegmans. And Wegmans has gluten-free, lactose-free, and if it's vegan, it usually has a V on it. Sometimes not, but I'm willing to bet it's because of this one ingredient. Well, let's get to the bottom of it. So I looked up the number on the box and I went ahead and I called customer service for General Mills and I asked him about this one ingredient. And here is how the conversation went. Hi, I have a question about your cereals. I want to know if uh, the ingredient D3 you use is vegan friendly, if it's not animal derived. So, sir, it, it is regarding which cereal? Oh, oh um, well, most of your cereals have D3 in it, but I guess uh, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch, at the, uh, the one of the last ingredients says D3. I don't because I was about to buy it in the store and then I noticed it had it in there and I wanted to contact you before I purchased it. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. So I'll just look up for the information, sir. Oh, so it's D3, right? Yeah, vitamin D3. And I know some of it is derived from animals and some of it is uh, synthesized in a lab. Oh, sure. Thank you. Hello. Hi. So, uh, thank, you for, thank you for holding, sir. No so problem. Regarding the vitamin, so, sir, regarding the vitamin B3 added to the cereal is sourced from lanolin from sheep soup. Thank you so much. Is that going to be uh, the same for all of your cereals that use D3? Yes, sir. Thank you so much. If you, just a suggestion, maybe you could use a, a vegan derived D3 in the future for uh, more people could um, be able to eat the cereal. For sure, sir. I can share your comments, sir, with a specialized team. If we could do this, we'll, we'll surely try our best. 
Thank you so much. Have a great day. You too, sir. Bye-bye. Bye. So there's your answer. Unfortunately, right now, all the General Mills products that have vitamin D, which is um, just about every single one of them that I've seen, uh, if you find a cereal that doesn't have it in it, let me know in the comments below. They are derived from sheep's wool and they're not vegan. Hello, and thank you for calling Kellogg Consumer Affairs. Our family of brands includes Kellogg's, Pringles, and Morningstar Farms products. To continue in English, press 1 or stay on the line. Thank you for calling Kellogg. My name is Betty. Can I help you? Hi, how are you? Um, I'm calling about uh, your cereals and one of the ingredients in there. I'm just wondering if your vitamin D3 is vegan friendly. Uh, what is it derived from? Okay, what cereal is that? Um, pretty much all the cereals I saw had D3 in it, but I was looking at um, Fruit Loops and um, Pops. And you said it's D3? That's correct. Okay, one second. Put John and Bruco while I look that up for you. Okay. Thank you for holding. And you said D. Uh, D is in dog. D. What's the name of that? Uh, vitamin D is in oh, dog. Vitamin yeah. D. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. After the label form D is for potassium, calcium, and iron, it states. But you want to know where they get it from? Yeah. It, 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 is it derived from animal products? I want to know if it's uh you know vegan okay. friendly. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Because I knew it was something else you had said on it. Okay. Hold well, on. Put me one second. Sure. Thank you so much for holding. Sure. And that, and that fruit loop, and that, okay, so if it states that it's vitamin D2, that is the plant derived one. And if it's vitamin D3, it's animal derived. Okay, great. Thank you so much. Oh, you're, you're welcome. And you, can I get your name for this file, please? Yeah, my name is Chris. Chris. Thank All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Chris. All Have right. A nice day. Thank you. You too. Mm -hmm. okay. Bye-bye. So as far as the Kellogg's goes, if you could find a cereal with D2 and no D3, that is plant-based. Uh, there are a few other things you want to look for, but I'm just weeding out cereals that are definitely not vegan because of the D3. If you do find one with D2 in it, also just go ahead and let me know in the comments below and we'll look further into it and we'll see if it's in fact vegan or not. Well, so far we're not doing too good on the vegan cereal because every one I've picked up has D3 in it and we found that D3 is not the vegan one. Now over to Post Cereal. I did not call Post Cereal but sent them an email asking if uh, the Fruity Pebbles were vegan. This was their reply. Thank you for your email message regarding post fruity pebbles. All of our products are vegetarian except those which state they contain gelatin or dairy ingredients in the ingredient or allergen statement. At this time, we do not have enough information from our suppliers to indicate whether or not these items are also vegan. However, we clearly label these ingredients which you can watch for. Any product with dairy ingredients will have this noted in the allergen statement as contains milk ingredients. Any product with honey will have this stated in the ingredients list. Our gelatin is derived from pork. We use this ingredient in our frosted shredded wheat cereals and all other products that contain marshmallows. Our vitamin D is derived from lanolin from sheep's wool. Thank you again for your interest in our products, uh, the consumer's brand. So there you have it. All the post cereal that I've seen has vitamin D in it, which means it is not vegan at this time. So if you see any post cereal that doesn't have, you know, it's not shredded weeds and it doesn't have marshmallows in it and it doesn't have vitamin D in it, also let me know in the comments below. But until then, these products are not vegan. Maybe we could all write to them and ask them to uh, change those for vegans. And even if you're not looking to consume them yourself and we get them to change the ingredients, that's, you know, less cruelty going into a product but there are uh, luckily a lot of vegan cereals out there so you're in luck if you're a cereal eater or if you want to buy cereal for a friend or a relative or your kids or whatever so let me know if you like this video let me know if these are useful and helpful to you uh, and also let me know what you want to see me do next and I'll see if I can do it and until then don't forget to subscribe survive watch out for zombies I'll see you guys next time